once again, no matter how complicated the expression gets, you just write it down and then replace the name of the set with what's actually in the set. I want to remind you, okay, this symbol is the difference. That's where you're taking one set away from the other. This symbol is union. And this symbol here, the little dash, is complement, meaning everything that's not in the set. When you're working a problem that has more than one set operation, it's kind of like order of operations in with regular numbers. Okay, so you're going to work inside of parentheses. And then you're going to work any complements, complements of individual sets. Um, and then you're going to do any unions and intersections uh, from left to right. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to focus in on the parentheses first. So in the parentheses, we have B, which contains C, E, and G. And we're taking away from that the set A, which contains A, B, C, E, and H. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to write what C is yet. I'll do that in a minute. So let's let's perform this set operation of taking the difference. Remember the A and the B and the H, these have no effect on the difference because the first set doesn't contain them. But the C and the E are going to be removed. And so what we're left with in the parentheses is really just the set containing G. And then now we need to union that with C complement. Now remember you do the complement first. So let's write down what C is. C is the set containing A, C, D, G, and E. Well, we want the complement of that. And complement means everything that's in the universal set, but not in that set. So basically all you have to do is look back at your set U, which represents everything under discussion, and remove from it the A, C, D, G, and E. So I'm going to cross off A, C, D, G, and E. And whatever's left is what's not in the set C. So we have G together with and whatever's left in U, which is going to be B, F, and H. The complement of C is BFH, all the letters that were not in C. And now the last thing we have to do is to find the union, and union means put everything together into one big set. So we're going to have B, we're going to have G, we're going to have F, and we're going to have H all together in one big set. So I hope you found this uh, live chat useful. I appreciate that you were here and that you were participating